Being married to the Queen, it seemed to me that my first duty was to, to, to serve her in the best way I could. I toyed with the idea of going to the RAF, but my uncle persuaded me to, to try the Navy. And, uh, and I had to sit the, the civil service exam to get into as a special entry cadet. I went to, went to Dartmouth in 39, I suppose. When the Queen succeeded, we sort of chatted about who would do what, I suppose. And I thought that if I could relieve her of the management of the estates, it would save her a lot of time. Like uh, all families, we went through the full range of pleasures and tribulations of bringing up children. I'm naturally somewhat biased, but I think our children have done rather well under very different and difficult and demanding circumstances. No two marriages are quite alike. However, I think that the main lesson that we've learned is that tolerance is the one essential ingredient of any happy marriage. It may not be quite so important when things are going well, but it is absolutely vital when things get difficult. And uh, you can take it from me that the Queen has the quality of tolerance and abundance. It, it's been a, a challenge for us, but by trial and experience, I believe we have achieved a sensible division of labor and a good balance between our individual and joint interests. This Commonwealth, of which every member is so proud, came into existence because people made sacrifices and offered their service to it. Now it has been handed to us, and if we don't make sacrifices for it, we shall have nothing to hand on to those who come after us. And the world will have lost something of much greater value than just a grand conception. Lots of well-meaning people to wring their hands in conference and to point out the dangers of pollution or destruction of the country, countryside if no one is willing or capable of taking any action. The impassioned speeches will be so much effluent under the bridge unless it is followed by drastic political action. Well, sir, time is fast running out. What we're trying to do, at least in, in future, is to try and persuade people to, as much as possible, to coexist with, their, with the natural wildlife in their areas. If you don't give young people the opportunities to find out about life, to find out what's worth doing, and to be able to develop their capacities and their uh, physical abilities, they are never going to get anywhere. People in this generation have any feelings whatever for their, for their descendants. They ought to be a great deal more active in, in the conservation of nature and the conservation of resources generally. I, I think to try and create a memorial to yourself while you're alive is slightly indecent. I think. I'd rather other people deciding what, what legacy I'd left. I mean, I'm not trying to create one.